Today we are looking at our earthquake and volcanism map. This earthquake and volcanism map can show us several different things. The blue dots indicate earthquakes. If you click on a blue dot, you can learn more about the earthquake that you're looking at. These red triangles represent volcanoes. You can also click on the volcanoes to learn more about them. And finally, our pink lines represent plate boundaries. We can navigate this map in several different ways. The first one being by using these plus and minus arrows. If you click on the plus, it zooms us in. Of course, if you click on the minus, it will zoom us out. We also have the default extent button, which will take us back to our original viewpoint. Finally, we have the location button. So if you have your location set up in your browser settings, you can click on this button and it will show you and take you to your location. In the upper right hand corner, we also have three buttons here. The first one is the legend. So you can open up the legend and it will remind you what these different symbols represent. We also have a layer list. So if you want to remove all of the volcanoes from the map, you click on volcanoes and it takes them off of the map. You can also add them back on by clicking on volcanoes. Same thing with world earthquakes and your plate boundaries. You can also remove the state boundaries. Finally, we have the swipe feature. What the swipe feature does is it can add or remove earthquakes from the map by swiping across the screen. So you'll notice as I move to the left of the screen, it actually removes the earthquakes from my view. I can move it back to the right, and then I can see where the earthquakes are. This allows us to see how the layers correspond to each other. Have fun exploring the earthquake and volcanism map.